Hello, everybody. My name is John, and today uh, it is probably about 11.48 where I'm at right now at night. And uh, I was on Discord with a couple of my friends, and they were going through some new games. As you know, I do like playing looter shooter video games and making a little bit of commentary content. So I figured this was a really interesting topic to talk about. A new game is coming on the market. There was a trailer for it. I'll link the trailer down below. Please check it out. It's called Duet Night and Abyss. I'm checking right here on the right. I just have that pulled up. Don't worry. I don't have anything, uh, anything nefarious pulled up or anything like that. But... Um, the claim that I really wanted to talk about is the fact that they think that this game can be compared to Warframe and Genshin Impact. I think, personally, that claiming that a game is can, can be compared to Warframe is a very bold claim. And I watched the trailer. Again, I'm going to link the trailer down below. Please check it out. I'm not going to show it on the channel. Uh, please go support uh, the original creators of the uh, game itself. I watched the trailer. The gameplay did resemble a lot of Warframe. It really did make me feel like they were implementing those characters uh, some like, there was a character that shot really fast reminded me a lot of Mesa and the character and art design and soundtrack design and most of the kind of overlay and how I feel like the game will function overall reminds me a lot of uh, Genshin Impact a gacha game uh, made by oh I don't even want to know Mihoyo I don't I don't know if I got that right I don't I'm not good with company names but um, I'm talking about the comparisons of the game now, Warframe is a game that's been around for about 10 years, about a decade, uh, almost 11 after uh, appearing a couple months. To compare a game to Warframe is a very bold claim, and I think it kind of ruins a lot of games as they kind of come out. And this is a big issue that I've had with just a general kind of consensus that I've had with a lot of the games that are coming out. They always compare their games to like oh we've been working on this game for seven years we've been working on this game for 10 years not compare but they say that they have these really long drawn out claims that hype the game up so with duet night abyss i looked at the gameplay and i think the gameplay does have a like have a lot of fun aspects into it and i think if we got a version of genshin impact that isn't a huge gotcha game it would be a lot of fun to play the game and like enjoy yourself while you play it However, I think just alone with the Warframe claim, I think all that really tells me about the game, and again, I know nothing about the story. I did do a little bit of digging uh, on these on the game Duet Night Abyss. There isn't anything about a story, and and to me that that makes no sense. Um, if you're gonna release a game, I think you need to get every you need to get people intrigued. Okay, obviously with the gameplay alone. That's not going to do it 100%. I think, and the, the trailer came out a month ago, so I am being a little harsh on it off rip. I understand that. But I think what they need is a little bit of story behind it. A lot of people are making theories on it, and I'm not really trying to make a theory on it. I'm more of just trying to go to what the facts that I do know. And uh, the Warframe one has really got me a little like, ah, uh, a little bit, a little, a little worried. Uh, not perturbed, but more of just like, I'm like, eh, I wonder how this is going to go. As you know, I like playing Warframe a lot, and I have played Genshin Impact. I'm a fan of both games. I think the only reason Genshin Impact is a bad game is because it has a lot of microtransactions. If Genshin Impact operated the exact same way Warframe did, I would not be surprised if they were both competitors in the same field. I think that they both have a lot of potential for replayability, they have a lot of great in-game content, and if you're looking for a game to check out, both are really good games in gameplay alone but if you go to like spending money on these games which one encourages you to spend money genshin impact is going to lose from by a landslide because you shouldn't really be playing genshin impact because of the fact that they want you to spend so much money on the game so just play warframe but if it was a tie and they both were just like oh you know you can get your in-game currency like in warframe you can get platinum for free you can get primo gems uh in uh in a Genshin for free, but it takes a long time just to unlock characters because you have to unlock them through a banner. That's not really fun whenever it comes to a grindy sense, but I digress. When you compare, and this Duet Night Abyss, if they combined both of them, here's what I want to see. And I want to talk about, like, my theory on it and, like, how, I, how I'm, you know, perceiving everything. This video is not going to come out this night. It's probably going to come out later in the day. Um, but how I see Duet Night Abyss kind of coming out and like working is the gameplay is going to resemble a mix between Genshin Impact and Warframe. But the real question is, is it going to last? And the way to figure that out is it depends on how they do content. 
if it works the way Warframe and Genshin Impact make content, it's going to come out monthly, yearly, you know, they're going to drop update after update, and it's going to be consistently getting hotfixed and worked on. That's great. It's great. And if the game comes out free, that's great too. But it's the fact of, is it going to have enough content to grind out as soon as the game comes out? A lot of the, a lot of the things about uh, Duet Night Abyss look very aesthetically pleasing and actually it looks like a really good game to like sit down and play with your buds and just kind of have fun on like it looks like it'd be one of those games you can also which would be perfect for kids to play as well it looks like it could reach a large audience and these two games Warframe and uh, Genshin have huge fan bases already and so combining the two might actually be pretty fun I mean I wouldn't be surprised if I catch myself playing this game but with a lot of new games that are grindy, you have to have a lot of end game content. You can't make games brand stankin' new and just bank off of them being like other games. You have to make them have enough content that whenever I play this game, I should be able, honestly, when I, I really want to spend like 24 hours plus being able to just play the game with just the base content alone, especially if I have to spend money on it, all right? So this kind of comes down to, if the game is free, I expect there to be a little bit of content, nothing too crazy. If it's free, you're still working on it. But if you have to spend money on it, which I don't know if you do, I didn't see if it was free or not. If it is, it is. If it isn't, oh well. Um, I just hope that the content fits those parameters. Like if the game is free, it comes out, you can't really do much because you know it just came out. I understand that, you can respect it, but a game should still be playable. And I'm just hoping that the end game content and Duet Night Abyss holds up and gives us uh, enough content and enough things to kind of you know go around and enjoy. So overall, I just really wanted to talk about uh, something that I kind of see or something that I saw that popped up. Uh, Duet Night Abyss, um, like I said, I'm gonna link the trailer down below. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, uh, comparing uh, Genshin Impact and Warframe together, that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, and this video will not come out this night, it'll probably come out with uh, on Friday, when I stream. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday on Twitch and YouTube. My Twitch will be down below. I stream twitch.tv slash Discomaniac. Check us out uh, and come join the party, people. I'll come up with a new name, probably Goofy Goobers or uh, Schnoopity Toopities or uh, Schnoopy Schnoopers. Boop doop, doop doop. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's all I have for this video. Peace out.